Hello, my name is Maria Gutierrez and I'm CEO and founder of Judicial Process and Support. Today I'm going to explain on how do we serve legal documents in Colombia. Specifically, I want to demonstrate how we got this serve in Colombia through the Hague Convention. This is a federal case filed in Florida pertaining to a fraudulent transfer and breach of contract as well. Once the client decides to hire us, we want to first identify the convention. When we're serving in Colombia, we're going to do it through the Hague Convention. Then the next step is to check the official language of that country. We're going to then verify that it was Spanish because once the documents are sent to the central authority, it has to be reviewed in the official language of that country by the staff that's reviewing it. The next step is we're going to prepare the USM 94. As you can see here, the attorney has executed here at the bottom of the first page, the USM. Once the execution has taken place, at the same time, we're already translating all the documents into Spanish. We will then prepare a certificate of translation. And once that's all done, we're going to prepare the package. We're going to send it to the central authority. In Colombia, is the Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores. And then we're going to confirm that the actual FedEx package was received. Once it's received at the central authority, we're going to docket that for three months. We're going to allow the central authority to do their job. And in the event we haven't heard anything in a three-month period, then we're going to prepare what we call a status request letter, requesting status of the case so that we can advise the court here in Florida. Once the paperwork has already been done and service has been completed, we're going to get back an entire file from Columbia because this is how they do it. And this is their cover sheet here for the actual file where they assign an actual case number and an actual judge reviews the paperwork and service is then completed. We then get all sorts of letters that are in Spanish uh, explaining what what happened and what transpired and that service was completed and then once we have all of this information it is translated into English and then filed here in the court in federal court in Miami so that the case can proceed once it proceeds then the our part has completed when you have international service of process needs please consider us here at judicial process and support because we get it done thank you